Hello and welcome back to another Scrap and Irish video. And this is one um, that I haven't done for a while. Taken apart, just a regular PC. Uh, so before we get started, please, if you're not a subscriber, please think about subscribing. Check out my channel, check out my other videos, and I would really appreciate it if you did subscribe. But again, at the end of the day, that comes up to yourself. And hopefully I do enough to maybe get you to subscribe to my channel and watch some of the videos I'm doing. Um, so, and secondly, give it a thumbs up while you're there and um, leave a comment if you wish. So what have we here? What are we going to scrap out today? Well, we have a uh, Intel 4 Pentium. It's in, it should be in here. So hopefully that's still in there. It's a Microsoft Windows 2000 Professional Windows 98. So a bit of a contradiction there between 2000 and 98. Um, it's a compact, so you can see over here she's a compact, um, and got the old floppy, which you don't see anymore. Um, so I'm hoping this one will have a fairly decent board in it. So first off, what are we looking at here? We have two clips. So we have a clip here, and a clip the far side. So maybe if I press them two first and see if does anything happen before we start taking screws out. Nothing's coming out. Just some flick open. Does it flick from the back? No, them clips are really doing nothing for me. The case isn't opening, so maybe it flips. There we go. So, case slides forward. So, first off, some shred. So, we don't need that. So, put that aside. And then we get a look at the top where we have our CD drive. We have our hard drive. It looks like it's going to be here. And again, as I said, the floppy was there. So, we'll flick it down and get a quick look into it. So what have we? We have our hard drive, CD drive as I thought, fan here, some ribbon wire and something. So we'll, I suppose we'll take off the cables first. I see a card, a slot card there as well, which is nice. So that'll mean some gold fingers usually. So why are we not getting these out? We'll take the ribbon wire first. Oh, that's the first ribbon wire disconnected from there. And uh, these are clips again. This looks like it could be a lot of clips. We have an arrow over here, as you can see. So, see, I'm pulling that way, but it ain't letting anything come out. And um, there we go. So, it's a case that kind of really doesn't have much screws in it, thank God. So, we can take off our ribbon wire, we can remove this ribbon wire. We can remove any of these pins we can get out. Um, again. So that'll take out the CD drive. Mm, doesn't want to come out too easy. There we go. So. There's our CD drive. So again, we have our gold pins um, on there, which will be good to get out. So I put that aside. Um, flick this up again. So that ribbon wire is going down under there. So we have some torque screws in here that need to be removed. Um, I may need to get a different tool to take them off so I'm gonna to have to pause it there while I go get the right screwdriver because I don't have any torque screwdrivers here with me um, unless this one fits where I was doing something before it did well, that's handy that was from a different thing I was taking apart so these older type um, PCs and stuff I like finding because um, you usually get some nice boards with some nice gold fingers on them or something like that as you can see down here we just flick this we have a ram stick so a nice uh, ram stick there would be an old one so again that would be just for gold recovery no other reason well I'm just as I'm just reading here air fan blah 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 you can see a lot of dust in it a lot of um, a lot of yuckiness. Ribbon wires glued on. 
with double sided tape we'll have to have a look at that in a while now so we still have the problem with getting the screws from this side which are not straightforward so there is some awkwardness to it but we'll persevere and see if we can figure out how we get the screws out I see one in there if I can get into it I can't so does it slide Hmm, very awkward. What I'm at is, we'll take this screw out of here. Any screws I come across that I see, I might as well remove them. That's for the floppy. So I'm still stuck with another screw, which is over here. Hopefully soon I'll have my outside workbench up and running again and have all that e-waste cleared off it and we can uh, get back outside and it'll save a lot more room for working on a lot better angle for the camera so again usually I'd speed this up and so you wouldn't have to see me screwing everything up but I said for this video I'm going to just try it the old-fashioned way and record exactly what I'm doing and see how hard it actually is to take apart a PC. That sometimes it can be not as straightforward. So there's a lot of moving. There's a lot of trying to make room, trying to get into the screws. So this is exactly what you will be up against if you're looking to take apart the PCs. It's not just. Of course, every PC can be different. Um, so we're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, so at least that should, hopefully, let me take out the floppy. So we'll slide them up there and Take off the ribbon wires, take off the cable here at the back, and does it slide forward or slide back? There we go. So there's our floppy drive. Again, has some gold pins on the back, which is nice. So we get some gold pins. Now, this is my issue still, the hard drive. Does this pull out to let you take that out? It does. There we go. So not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So our hard drive, as you can see, again, nice logic board on the back. Um, and this one was a Western Digital. And let's see if we can see what, um, it was only a 20 gigabyte. So not much um, storage on one of them. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. So uh, let's have a look and see what we can take off next. So again, do the backs come up? Okay, kind of lifts but doesn't fully remove. Might as well take out the ribbon wire when I'm at it. And try and get some of the stuff out of my way. This glue is really annoying. Ooh. Where's this ribbon wire going? Okay, so we've one ribbon wire out anyhow. Uh, a lot of cable. Put them over there. Remove this cable. Give me a bit more room to see what we're at. You can see that underneath there will be where our uh, P P4 will be, our Pentium P4. We can get to that in a second if I could just try and remove this cable push me away there we go so that glue again you will have gold pins inside of there uh, usually um, the order it is the better the gold pins so i'm hoping there'll be some nice gold pins in there let's see what are we doing here we have another ribbon wire or ide connectors i just call them ribbon wires i don't know why um 
Okay, so now that I've removed that, I'm going to take a second to have a quick look and see if I can figure out how this will open up. Because it looked like it would lift, which it does, but there we go. So that just came off and we have our another card here, which again is another slot card. And again, we can hopefully just remove that slot card and then we'll have some more nice gold fingers to add to the collection of gold fingers that we're getting together from all the rest of the e-waste from that pickup. So again, guys, this is all from the pickup that I did a um, couple of months ago now. Um, but I'm just getting through it bit by bit. So you can see there, nice little slot card. Um, nice gold fingers on it. Again, in there you will have some tipped gold pins, but is it worth taking them out? Again, that will be up to yourself, uh, whether you think it's worth taking them out. Oh, sorry, I've lost a bit of light there. Give you some more light. Um, okay, now what are we on to? Might as well take out this slot card. So again, we have another slot card with a nice, um, it's a graphics card. Oh, I don't know why my light keeps switching off. Sorry about that. Um, it's just a light out there to give a bit more light to stop the shadows. Um, so again, we have our slot card. Um, I was the same as graphics card. So we have a gold corner VGA. Again, gold fingers. Um, we'll take off the, um, hmm, I'm going to have to look at this light, I do apologise, I'm just going to pause it there when I reset the light. Okay, hopefully I've solved that light. So, anyway, that was the card of the scene, so what I've been taking off there is the, um, Crystal Oscillator, Gold Corner VGA, the IC chips or the flat pack chips, um, and the, um, the gold uh, fingers, which will be put in with the rest of the gold fingers that I've been collecting up off other things. We have the MLCCs as well, if you want to take a few of them off. Um, and on the back, again, um, you might have um, a few other little bits and pieces, but not from there really on that one. So again, um, I don't know what's wrong with my light that keeps switching itself off. But we'll just leave it, if it goes off the next time we leave it off. We'll have to invest in a new light. It doesn't have a timer, but knocks itself off. So now we're down to, this is the power supply over here. So how is the power supply fitted? Because I need to get in there to take the power supply out to get the board out so we can see what is happening. So um, again, I have some screws here that I might just take out and put anything on the back. Again, I have some screws here that might need to come out. So we'll just take them out while we're at it and see what happens. Will that release the power supply? So that seems to have released the power supply, which is straightforward. Very awkward for removing that wire usually if i wasn't doing a video on it i just cut that wire and then take it off again in a second when, I, when i'd be away from it but seeing we're doing a video might as well keep at it and you can show you just how awkward some of these things can be there we go so power supply removed again you have your cable that you can put into your copper cable you can take off your fan um different shape power supply but um, they're all the same essentially. So you can take your cable, get your copper from it and take the board from the inside of the power supply. I think I've done a video on that somewhere on the, be up there on my channel if you want to check it out. Now we need to remove the board. So I'm sure if we, as you can see, it's very, very dusty. And um, it's a matter now of finding where the screws are. So we have to have a look around the board until we locate where the board is held in, how it's held in. So again, I don't see any, vis any visible screws. Um, there's the fan, which is going out through there. And um, again, be more than likely something at the back. Or 
so there's nothing really holding it there they're all free um, there is a screw here but I don't think that's actually holding anything in but we'll we'll remove it Car sorry you can't see it because it's in behind where I'm trying to get this screwdriver into but it's not no it's like a security screw so I may need to get a different screwdriver to remove that it's one of them security screws but um and that may be what's holding in the board but I couldn't see that in the reason for the board to be held in um, it may more than likely be the fan that's causing it to, to be held in so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove the fan so by pulling back on these clips here it lets me take out the fan and the CPU should be under that so just pull that to the side and same this side let's see can we pry that fan out there we go so a nice chunk of aluminium with some copper on it and um, again if you can knock that copper out you get a better price by taking that off the aluminium and then inside of here we have our little Pentium 4 so if we remove the heat paste and we'll see can we see what it says so it's an Intel Pentium 4 uh, a 75 1.75 volt by the looks of it it's in and its speed was a 40 Hertz is it uh, 256 488 I think and it was made in Costa Rica so oh sorry I'm not on the camera there I was reading that off the camera uh, so there's your it's a 1.6 gigahertz sorry 1.6 gigahertz 256 488 1.75 volt um, Costa Rica Intel so nice little gold pins on it so that's that removed um, and then you can remove the board at last, but I uh, don't need to really need to remove the board at the moment, but uh, because it's my, this might take too long to remove. Hmm. Is it held at the front? Is there fans holding it here? A lot of screws here. So if we remove them, we might get it out. I don't know why there's four. All that, of course, screws there in one spot. And again, if I wasn't doing the video, I'd probably use a power drill. Um, our screwdriver uh, to remove these quicker which would speed it up but because I don't want to have much noise over the video I'm doing I will just um, take them out with a hand screwdriver okay so that isn't really holding anything I don't think to make any difference Okay, still nothing, nothing moving on the board. Um, so why is that? Do we think? Is it possible that the case needs to be pulled apart more, which I can't see? So this one has me, has me stuck. And this is what usually happens when you're scrapping out stuff, and. Um, you can't see where it is held on. Possibly held on from here, but I can't see 100%. Why? So what I'm gonna to have to do is take it off camera to see where it's stuck. Because trying to lean over the camera to see is not working for me. So I'm gonna to have to pause it there again and we'll come back and see where it was stuck. Okay, so um, I figured out what it is and it's, Something just straightforward after all. I was thinking, where the hell or what is it? 
So if you look, if I can find them, there we go. Let me try and turn that light back on for a few seconds and try and give it a bit more light. But you can see here that the board needs to move down to these little holes here. If I zoom in, you might see it better. There we go. So you can see there's little um, holding pins. So all I have to do is the board has to just slide down and that will release them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that off screen because again, I can't do it by leaning over the camera and try and do it because it's just too awkward. Um, so this is the downside of when you're doing videos, it takes longer to do everything. So um, I'm just going to have to tap them down and then I'll remove them again. I'll have to do it off screen because it's just I can't do it when I'm trying to lean over the camera and trying to hit something. So uh, with a little hammer, I'm just going to tap it down, get a little chisel hammer or something like that and just tap it down. So I'll do that off screen and we'll come back once I've that done and get a look at the board. Okay guys, so I took out the board and I said we'd have a look at the board just to see what have we under here. So first off, we have a gold collar BGA on it. We have underneath this heatsink, one of them flip chips as we call them. They were absolutely worthless. Um, we have uh, some nice IC chips, some flat packs, um, some crystal oscillators um, just here. Boom, boom, boom. Again, we'll have some M MLCCs under there. Um, gold pins along here. So we have some, because it's an older board, that so you'll have a lot more gold pins on them than you would have had on the newer boards because the connectors will be different. Um, anything else of value there? We have a little jumper there. So again, inside of there, usually we'll have gold. Doesn't look like it there, but th it is very, very faint gold on there. So again, whether it's worth the collector or not, how to collect them up and you at the end then. So again, you'll have some gold pins under there. So we have our two gold pins. Look at that for dirty fingers from taking this apart. It was a very, very dirty one. Um, I should be really wearing the gloves, but sometimes it's awkward when you're taking stuff apart. So just to make sure you clean your hands properly afterwards before you go doing anything else. Again, we'll have some gold pins in here. On the other side of the board, nothing at all. Again, just worthless. Um, nothing on this side of the board. So we're looking at a bit of copper as well. So we have a little bit of copper down here. Um, and that's really it. So what did we end up with in the end? So we've got a board, middle of the road. I'd call it a mid-grade uh, because of the gold chip on it. So you could sell that maybe to board stores or something like that if you're in the US. Uh, they would take it as a... Uh, more than likely a mid-grade, I think, maybe a bit higher. Um, depending on the one that I know a bit better more, that would be Shark Scrap or Re Waste Mike because they deal a lot with board sort. So again, um, the board itself, we have the gold pins here, gold pins here. Um, let me bring it down there so you can see a bit better. So we have our gold pins there, gold pins along there. I'll be taking them off with a heat gun or again with the uh, multi-tool. Um, I'll be removing that. Um, um, uh, gold corner BGA uh, I also removed these because these have gold pins in here so again I have a video somewhere up there on the where I've worked on them and taken the gold from them um, I'll take the gold pins out of the sides here so again there'll be gold pins in here and there'll be gold pins here and gold pins in here so that's on that part of the board I also got the uh, P4 uh, which again has the gold pins so we'd be taking the gold pins from that um, I've got some slot cards so as you can see there with the slot cards with the gold fingers so again that gold fingers will go in with the rest of the gold fingers that i've got on previous videos uh, from this pickup and again there will be gold pins in here very very lightly gold pins you have gold pins here uh, a switch here which uh, more than likely will have a silver connector in it or silver contact on that one then we have another board here again we have our gold fingers on it we have our gold corner bga which is good we have some more uh, flat packs ic chips um we have the crystal oscillator again um so that'll be out off that board we also got the hard drive which will have the logic board and we'll have some um ca the aluminium on it possibly stainless steel maybe under this um but again you get a bit of aluminium from it we had the um floppy drive so again, sometimes you'll have a low grade board in there um, and um, you get your bit of shred. Don't really do much with them, to be honest, the floppies. Uh, we have our CD drive. So again, you would have seen in a video at some stage that I would done where I took away part of the CD drives. Inside there, you'll have a board. 
you'll have some ribbon wire with possibly some gold contacts in it um, and again you have the shred steel you have your gold pins on the end so that's all you get out of that um, what else did I get I got the the actual um, IDE um, connector cables so again gold pins usually in here gold plated pins when they're not solid gold again when I say gold pins I don't mean solid gold I mean like plated pins um, you wouldn't get gold solid pins or anything like that in these so again I have three of them from it and uh, then we also have the cable from the um, power supply and we'll have some other bits of cabling that was inside of there we'll have the aluminium from over the CPU again it has a copper here if you can knock out that copper it'll increase the value for you um, so you get a bit more copper out of it and um, that's it guys that's everything of course is the shred but um again the shred is not something that i'd be looking at as a, a um something i go after really but um it's there you might as well get get some money for it again you have all your little bits of aluminium and stuff like that in there so i just decided for this video to do that guys because i haven't done a um tear down of a pc in a while and i had a few of these out in that pick pickup so i said i'd tear one down so again at the end when i go through everything that i got in the whole pickup uh, when i go through the pin, amount of pins i got and the amount of fingers and stuff like that that's just where they'll be coming from from the likes of this stuff and other other bits and pieces that i've picked up so guys thanks for watching and again if you're not a subscriber please consider subscribing it uh, would mean a lot to me and um give a thumbs up and um sure we'll see you on the next one guys and um remember Keep on looking for that gold, guys. It's out there.